Hi everyone, this is Ross again, and in this video we're going to be covering the GG Leap offer system. So the offer system is the way that you can add time, gaming time, to a player's account, or the player can buy gaming time from a client PC and to add to their account. And what we're looking at here is the default offer system that we've created as a template for new centers. We expect anyone to configure this to whatever suit their business, so changing the price and the offer selection. And the reason that we use offers to add time to players' accounts is that it allows each of our customers to have a very flexible offer system that also has a full audit. So for example, you may have standard pricing for your, your gamers. You may have a separate pricing system for VIP users. You may have a separate pricing system again for certain groups of PCs. Perhaps you have some high spec PCs and you may have a separate pricing system for employees. There's a lot of robust combinations that you might have. And we think it's important that at the end of the day or a week or a month or a year, you can produce an audit of all of the different offers that were added to your account and know that, um, well, you can see which offers are the most popular and also just check that your employees are adding the right types of offers that you expect to gamers accounts. So it's, it's a secure uh, and auditable system and that's why we've gone for this approach. So we've created a template here uh, for new centers, just so that you can get an idea of uh, what the offers look like, how they work, the differences between standard pricing and special offers and custom pricing, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but by, by default here, we have created a bunch of standard price offers. And the idea here is that we expect that for most centers, you will have a standard price of, for example, one hour. If somebody wants to come in and just play for one hour, at any time of the day or week, there is a standard price, but you may have special offers that are available as well. And also you probably want to incentivize gamers to spend more money buying a bigger game pass in order to get a bigger discount. So for example, you can see that in this example, one hour costs $5, but four hours costs $15. And the idea is that if a gamer plays for two hours and then logs off, the remaining two hours will stay on the player account so that they can come back another day. And when they come back, they don't need to speak to a member of staff. They can just sit down and log in and their remaining time will be available for them. And there are also the notion of special offers or custom pricing. And this allows you to um, create offers that are applicable during certain time periods, for example. Um, so you may have a day pass and perhaps that is only eligible from 2 p.m. until 10 p.m. And if the gamer buys that day pass, they must use the time that day. Like they can't carry that time over to the next day. So it's a special price, but it's it's only for time played that day. Similarly for the night pass. And you can also configure uh, offers that expire um, after certain periods of time, or perhaps you have a off peak offer that's only valid from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Those types of things that can all be fully configured um, within this system, and this is how it's represented for the gamers to to, to buy. Um, before I move on to the web admin, uh, I can also see if, uh, as a gamer, if if I um, you know I can I can buy you know four hours here and check this out. Um, but if I want to just see my current account balance, I can see quickly in the top right that I have twenty seven hours remaining, and this is obviously a test account. Um, and if I go to my account, I can get more details on that. Excuse the, the fake details I put in for this test account. Um, but if I look at my offers, I can see that I have actually purchased three offers at 10 hours each. And I have two that are completely unused and are stored on my account. And I also have almost, um, or a little over seven hours remaining on the one that I have bought. So you can see here that a, that a gamer can stack offers on their account um, that will, create a, a total amount of time that is remaining. Uh, it's also possible to add priority to offers um, so that, for example, if someone does have 30 hours on their account, but they want to buy a day pass because they do intend to play all day that day, then they can purchase a day pass, which you can configure as a high priority offer, which means that that will always get used first um, rather than the, the, the time that's on their account already. So there's a very flexible and robust system that backs all of this. Uh, and I'm just gonna bring over the web admin to uh, help explain that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring over the web admin. And again, this is the same web admin as before. These two are connected. So whatever change that I make on the web admin will be reflected in the client PC. And so this is found in the settings section, settings, then shop, and then shop configuration. 
brings us to this menu. And from here, we can have a look at some of the default offers that have been created for you that we fully expect you to change. So for example, the four hour offer that we talked about previously, I just click on that. I can see a little bit of information that has been created in association with this particular offer. So we need to give it a name and that is what shows in the client. We needed to give it a, a description so that the gamer knows exactly what it is that they're buying. Um, and in this case, it's under the subcategory of um, standard pricing, but we can change that and we can set the price. We can choose whether this price should include or exclude tax. This choice happens in a different part of the settings under um, center config and financial configuration. If you want to change the tax setup, you can do it there. Uh, also, there is the notion of a coin bonus. So we do have an integrated loyalty system that allows players to spend coins on prizes that you've configured, usually free gaming prizes, but you can configure anything that you want there. And um, so it is possible also when you're selling an offer to award a coin bonus. So perhaps you have a more expensive offer and you want to help incentivize the sales of that offer, you can award, um, say for example, thousand coins will be awarded to any player who buys that offer. And um, there is a, an option to generate a barcode. This is really for physical items that you have a point of sale system that, that scans barcodes, not really relevant for for systems. And to cover some of the, um, the oh, I should mention, by the way, there are hover over tooltips here for each of these, uh, if you are if you have any further questions. Regarding how this item is sold, well, we can check box to decide whether it should appear in the GGD client itself. And if I uncheck this box, it just won't appear in the client uh, this would be an offer that is only sold at the web admin. Um, we do have a, a home gaming client as part of our service. Uh, we'll cover that in another video, but just to say that you can make um, items available in your shop that are presented to gamers while they're at home. We'll cover that later. Um, whether it's available for quick sell, um, there is an option in our web admin here where we, if, if there's a very popular item in your inventory, whether it's food or drink or time, it's very popular and you want to get at it quickly. For example, one hour or four hours or something like that. It's, it's very commonly purchased. If you add it to the quick sale menu, it just makes it easier to get to that, um, which I will demonstrate later as well. And finally, this particular item does not use the stock system. It has unlimited stock. It is a digital item. So therefore we have unlimited stock. We can change how this offer is represented. So either we can upload our own image for this offer. If we've created something that you think, if you've created something that looks better than this, then by all means, you can delete the one that we have as a default. You can also have a look at our library. Um, so we have a few uh, packs of game passes here that, uh, sorry, a few packs of images that we can use to associate with gaming time. If you prefer how some of these look, then you can select one, one of the ones that we've created by default, otherwise add your own. And below that, we have the ability to add taxes. Now I haven't, this is a default center, so there are no taxes configured in the financial settings yet, but it is possible to have multiple tax brackets because for some locations, there are different taxable amounts on different types of products. So you can choose, you can set the tax on this item and then choose that tax. And then further on down for this offer, it is a four hour offer. So we wanna make sure that this offer grants four hours. And then we can choose whether this offer is applied when the gamer logs into the client with this offer, or and occasionally you may have an offer that should start immediately. So as soon as they buy the offer from you, then the time starts ticking down whether they're logged in or not. So for example, a day pass or some fixed time period that the time has to be used immediately, then there's an offer for that as well. Um, an option for that as well, I should say. There are a whole bunch of more complicated settings here in offer specifics, but I'll just quickly go to our special offer system here uh, and just quickly explain, for example, a day pass and how that works. So day pass has a pretty similar setup. It's under the special offers category. It costs $20 and we have a, a description here. And this one ends at midnight. Now that's just the description. So we also have to set that up in the setting. So if I go to the advanced options here, um, in order to make this offer work, then the only change I really needed to make, uh, first of all, I've set it to the highest priority. So if it's a day pass, that's normally the way that you would do it so that if a gamer does have time in their account already, we're not using that time. We want to use the day pass today. Um, so this is the highest priority. We can select 
which days this is a uh, day pass can be used on. So perhaps you only have a day pass that's available Monday to, um, to Friday, or maybe you have two different day passes, uh, depending on peak versus off peak. And so in this example, this day pass is valid all day. It, it, it's valid every, there, there are no eligibility periods in terms of dates or times. And what makes this offer be different from the rest is simply the fact that we've configured this offer to expire just before midnight. So if this offer is applied to a player's account, it will be used as highest priority. But even if the gamer doesn't even use this offer, it will expire at midnight. So this offer is, you use it or you lose it, but it's gone tomorrow. And that's one way to set that up. Um, so let's say that we want to create a an off peak Monday Thursday offer, and the description for that, if so, if a gamer was to hover over it and wanted to know more details, it's let's say from eleven a.m. four p.m. unlimited gaming, and let's say that it's five dollars. Um, we'll just check all of these boxes that are relevant. Um, I will have a look to see if there's a others. Okay, so let's say I choose this off peak pass. So this will be the images represented. And uh, let's see, there are five hours here in total. And we're going to make it start off first use. So the, the gamer We'll start consuming the offer whenever they log into the client. We'll make this a high priority offer, and it is only going to be available Monday to Thursday, and it's going to be available only from 11 until 4 p.m. The dates don't matter because this, the, the dates are here in case you have maybe a, an offer that you want to run for a week or a month. Um, but not any time after that. Um, so in this particular case, we want this particular offer to have an 11 a.m. start time. And the reason that we have this is because if a gamer comes in late at 12 p.m., for example, the offer will be back dated to 11 a.m. So if they if they have five hours and they log in at 12 p.m., they will still only have four hours remaining. And just as an extra, I mean, we don't really need to add this, um, but we can also add that it expires at 1600. We can also add that it expires after one day or expires after five hours. There, there are a lot of different options here that we can use individually to solve the same issue here. So this could be, I think probably the, the most appropriate one here actually is that it expires at 4 p.m. So this is kind of a catch all. No matter what happens, this offer is going to be gone from that user's account at 4 p.m. on the day that it's used. Uh, and this essentially solves this, this use case. Um, but there are, I mean, there are, this, system itself should solve any type of custom offer that you want to present to your gamers um, and it's just a case of exploring the different options um, thinking through the business plan that you want in terms of charging your users and configuring these offers in your system and as soon as you've added different offers here and um, to the web admin the next time that your pc client is rebooted those offers will appear and they'll also be on uh, within the shop in the web admin itself so just very quick example. Um, if I look at this day pass, for example, I can see that it is in the quick sale menu. So if a user comes to reception and they want to buy a day pass, I can. Well, there's a couple of things I can do. If the user, if the user is logged into the PC, which I am, and I can see it in the dashboard here, or I can see it as I'm logged into a VIP room, um, I can click on this PC. And I can see the user that's logged in, and I can go to quick sell. And this is the items that I've configured to be in the quick sale menu. And then I can just simply add on the day pass. I can go to checkout here. And then I can decide how the user is going to pay for this. So this is how the payment process happens on the web admin. On the client, it's a little bit different. And we can enable QR codes. We can ask a member of staff to come and collect the cash. Um, or there's also post pay options. There's a whole other financial system there as well. But I think for today, this will uh, be uh, include a, a good summary of the offer system.